Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, seeing as YouTube's a mess. I might as well. I fancied playing XCOM 2 for a video. Uh, I do. I do streaming on this uh, once a week on on Wednesday evening. If you're watching this on the day it comes out, there'll be a stream happening fairly shortly, or might be happening currently. Um, I love XCOM 2. It is right up there as one of my all-time favourite games, and it's something that I, yeah, kind of want to just have a play around with, and I figured why not do a video on it. So, the premise of the game, I'm not going to go into huge amount of detail, uh, however the premise is, aliens have taken over the planet, and we are the resistance forces fighting against said aliens. The aliens, while pretending to come in peace, are up to no good, and we're trying to stop them. Now, I am a fair way through this particular, uh, campaign, this particular playthrough, if you like. Uh, we've got some quite high-tech stuff, and generally, I'm, I'm doing okay at the moment. Uh, I'm going to jump into a, well, this is a, a special mission that has uh, just appeared. We are tasked with uh, recovering a skirmisher-affiliated operative. Now, I'm playing this with the War of the Chosen DLC, which adds a huge amount. It's probably one of the best DLCs in terms of sort of content and the amount it changes and adds to the game. And I've got a few mods installed as well. So, <laughs> lots of bits and pieces. We've got kind of real world weaponry. We've got a Star Wars blaster. And that's a special rifle I've unlocked. Uh, one of the, one of the uh, titular Chosen's weapons. And we're going to remove everybody. And we're going to go... We're going to take, take the A-Team. I think we're going to take the A-Team. Now, one of the great things about... XCOM is that you can name all of your soldiers. You get attached to your soldiers. They all have you know, special abilities and they all go on, on various missions and whatnot. Uh, when playing through on stream, we have soldiers named after donators and then I save them to the character pool. So whenever I play a game, it just randomly draws characters from that pool. Sometimes they end up with previously named soldiers. Sometimes they end up with random. Uh, now, I have been playing around uh, with this. Uh, play, I've been playing a lot with Psy Operatives. These are Essentially, they can mind control people. Quite powerful. Quite powerful indeed. Uh, so we're going to take a Psy Operative. We're going to take a Grenadier. Name says it all really. Fires grenades. Quite dangerous. Uh, we're going to take a Sniper. Who are you buddies with? Um, so this little, these little symbols are they can... Over missions, over time, they form bonds with other soldiers. And as they get higher up through the levels, they can then do special abilities. So it's always helpful to send uh, bond mates together. Don't say that word wrong. It can have quite a different meaning if you aren't careful. Uh, so, yeah, at the moment we've got Cyberative, Grenadier, Sniper, uh, Specialist. Basically, they have a little helping robot that can heal and can attack stuff. And who else do we want to send on this mission? I think we will send... Uh, you know what? Let's go full mind control. We'll go full mind control and we'll send another uh, robot healy thing uh, <laughs> for good measure. And then we will go and sort out weaponry and equipment. Uh, you are... You're not so important because we're going to be mind-controlling stuff. Now, you can get some grenades. I think like the plasma grenades are actually pretty good. So you'll keep... Plasma grenades is your main one. You can have an extra grenade. They'll give you a fire grenade. You never know when that's going to come in handy. And, sure, you can have some poison rounds in your... Gosh, make items available in case we've got <laughs> anything stuck around on a uh, other soldier. You can get the much, much better sniper rifle. Uh, the special chosen one, the Dark Lance. Uh, it's very, very powerful. Can do all sorts of helpful things. Uh, no real point giving you a grenade because you're never going to be close enough. You're a sniper. Tracer rounds will give us some better better aim. Essentially, it adds 10. Yeah, adds 10 to aim. So, <laughs> 120 aim on this particular soldier. Pretty strong. I will, though, give you a flashbang. Uh, flashbangs are, like, even at this later stage, I still find flashbangs occasionally useful to get you out of a rather sticky situation. Uh, we're going to give you blue screen rounds, useful for taking out robot enemies at a health kit because you're on healing duties. Uh, you can have some blue screen rounds as well because robots are mean. Don't, <laughs> don't really like that. Uh, so I don't really like that. It's good to have blue screen rounds to counter it. You can have some more health because you'll probably be running in at, at the front. And to finish off, you can have a healy kit. And I'll we'll give you some armor piercing rounds. Uh, actually, we might. No, you've got rounds. Blue screens. Yeah, I think we are. Maybe we'll give you the Talon rounds rather than. Ven like, the Venom rounds are probably one of the least effective ones. Talon rounds give you better sort of critical hit chance. Okay. And that's a set. That is our, <laughs> our team of soldiers. We've got. Uh, 
yeah, pretty... Uh, I think we've got about as good of armor as you can get outside of going down some really specialist routes. So this this shouldn't be too bad a remission, this one that uh, <laughs> that I have gone on. We haven't got we have got I think it was a sector pod I saw, which is like a big alien tank essentially. I think War of the Worlds, kind of one of those, sort of like one of those ish. You'll see it in a minute. We've got anti-robot stuff with us, so <laughs> that's useful. And I'm probably going to spend most of the game mind controlling everybody. So we've got into the mission with six soldiers. I'm hoping at some point we're going to have eight under our control. That's that's the plan at least. So our mission here, recover and extract uh, resistance operative, extract all of the uh, XCOM operatives, and there is a skirmisher warrior on site. Skirmisher, there's three sort of special factions. They have uh, various soldiers with special abilities. Looks like we've got one to uh, come and give us a little bit of an assist in this mission. And here we go. Our team is ready to go. So we've got to go and secure. I'm not sure whether we're kidnapping or rescuing. I don't, <laughs> not quite sure which way round it is, but we've, there's, there's a um, VIP. I think in this case, I think it's a... Oh, we've actually got... Okay, so we've got some resistance fighters that go and join us. Now, one of the mods I'm playing with does give us some different mission types, and I believe it so happened that this is one of those. So, <laughs> not only have we got a bunch of mission types, uh, or a bunch of different stuff because I'm playing with War of the Chosen, we've also got a bunch of new sort of missions because of a mod that I am using. Uh, we will go and start climbing up this building, I think. Now, the trick with movement, you can see there's a blue and an orange area. So you get two actions, essentially. Orange is to sprint, so you use all your actions on movement. Blue is to use your first action to move, and then you can uh, potentially shoot. Uh, what have we got? I can actually see there's not many people around. Uh, we're going to put you into some better cover. So on these walls, uh, you will see there's a little shield symbol. Full shield means it's high cover, means it's a lot harder to hit you. Half shield, you know, half cover, not so difficult to hit, but still better than standing out in the open. You really don't want to be standing out in the open. That is, uh, that is a quick way to get killed. And sometimes there is, there are potential times and reasons why you might need to or you might have to. It's not advised, though. It is, it is not advised. I think we're going to keep most of our soldiers on the ground if I can. Okay, I'll move you up to there. At the moment, we're in concealment. Uh, some missions you start in concealment, which means the uh, enemy forces don't know where you are. You can move around freely. If you aren't in concealment, if you move into kind of line of sight of an enemy, oh, but there are some enemy forces. Yeah, if you aren't in concealment, you move into the line of sight of an enemy. They will well, sort of start the fight. It is like you can sort of sneak around a little bit. And uh, you can, as we aren't fighting, we can go and potentially use you as a scout up here. We can be a little bit careful with the. Uh, Moving around. Oh, you might actually spot the guy standing on the roof because he's not got any cover. I think we're going to be okay. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's it's a little bit close, actually. That's a little bit closer than I would have liked. He is somehow still sneaked. I'll take it. I'll take some lucky sneaking. Now, the resistance guys in here, uh, there are some missions where the resistance guys will actually do a lot of work killing the enemies. I've, I've played some... Again, if you've watched my XCOM streams, I've played some that have been kind of almost entirely saved by resistance fighters doing some amazing killing work. Uh, <laughs> next time they might actually... Go on, guys. Take out that priest. Oh, you're just going to shoot at... So, I don't know where you're at. Where are you shooting? Ah! Oh, there's the big alien tank. You know what? If you guys want to kind of damage those before we get into the fight, that makes my life ten times easier. Perfect. Uh... <laughs> See, some, some of these missions are a little bit easier when you've got resistance fighters taking out guys for... I wasn't quite expecting for these lot to turn up for this, which is... I mean, it's, it's okay. Again, it's, it's okay. It just makes my life considerably easier. We're not going to show off the amazing power of our uh, of our team, because we're still busy sneaking around trying to take out an individual... Pro you, are yours another one? Christ, there's a lot of them. Can you kill the trooper or the priest? Or get, get rid of the priest. Nice work. Uh, <laughs> When the priests get down to low health, they can sometimes stasis themselves, um, or sustain themselves, whatever it's called, uh, so that they don't die, essentially. Um, right, what have we got in terms of options? What can you do? Whiplash. Attack an enemy with an electrical lash. Doesn't cost an action. 
You are not in a good position to snipe anybody. Can we move you forward? Now, this gun gives us a special ability. Normally, snipers can't move and shoot on the same. Like, all the other units can move one and then shoot. Normally, snipers can't, unless they have special abilities, or apparently this rifle allows us to uh, move and shoot. So we can headshot one of those, no problem. Uh, do we go for... We might as well start fighting now, because the resistance guys elsewhere are going to help us out. I was going to do all mind control buggers, but <laughs> slightly less needed when you've got uh, the tremendous advantage that we have. Now, you can mind control. 100% uh, chance to take control of them. That actually works pretty well for me. So we are gonna we're gonna begin the fight with the mind control. Uh, <laughs> the other guys are pretty straightforward. Uh, you can only mind control aliens. Oh, I guess organic enemies. You can't mind control the robots. Although you can hack the robots with specialist units as well. So <laughs> there, there are basically ways to just about control everything in this game, and that's kind of how I've started playing it now. Uh, you can snipe out a trooper. That sounds like fun. Um, Sure, go for it. Goodbye to Trooper. Yeah, <laughs> that's a damn powerful rifle. And again, one of the with the promotions I've got on uh, McToasty here uh, means that if we get a kill, trying to see this one here, if we get a kill while at a uh, higher elevation, it uh, only costs us a single action. So in this particular case, we can actually kill both of the troopers because of our elevation, because of our weapon strength. <laughs> can kill both of the troopers without a sniper. That's pretty damn effective when you can do that. And that's not cost us an action either, so I can now go and reload the gun. <laughs> Everything is good. The, that rifle is stupidly powerful, especially when you attach it to a high-level soldier like that. That becomes utterly formidable. Now we've got to move a little bit forward. We've got to try and find some, find some more enemies to deal with since we've taken out that pack with no trouble whatsoever. Uh, now these little towers uh, can reveal us kind of like a line of sight, so if you're in concealment they can make areas difficult to pass, but we can hack them and we can do special things. Uh, th oh, th there are some much better rewards than this. Um, you know, I'm not going to bother risking getting a... <laughs> it's not, not massively worth it. Uh, there are some re some rewards where they give you a mind control over enemy units for a couple of turns. Which, yeah, <laughs> I think I think the most enemy units I've had under my control at one time in this is about four. Uh, through a weird, through hacking a robot, two Psy guys having um, mind control over somebody, and one of these tower stations giving me control over somebody. It was pretty bonkers, quite good fun. Uh, <laughs> so we're just going to move everybody up. I'm trying to not move too far up so we don't pull a huge pack when I'm all out of movement. So we will be a little bit careful. Uh, you can probably run across that. I have a feeling that might have been a dumb move, but I guess we'll find out. Our sniper can deal with something if things happen to come. How has sniper still got another... I don't even know how she's still got another action here. How have you got so many actions? It's brilliant. I shouldn't complain, but you've got far too many. <laughs> you can go there, and uh, I'm not going to cluster up our guys too much. You can see on Overwatch means that if a enemy walks in front of them, like walks into their line of fire while it's the enemy turn, they will take an automatic shot at them. It's not the most accurate thing, but it can be useful for traps. Here comes the alien tank. It has spotted our guys. Now we're going to have... So now we're going to have a big fight on our hands. You guys, you know, an overwatch shot. Uh, have you hit that? No, you have not hit that, annoyingly. Uh, sometimes it looks like they've hit... Everything has kind of worked on a percentage chance. There's a percentage chance to hit. Uh, that was a nice shot, actually. That's got a decent amount of damage done to that. Now the resistance guys are going to go and ping it. The resistance might guys might actually kill that. <laughs> I mean, again, if you could shoot with the guys on the roof rather than the sector pod, I can kill the big tank myself. I have to be fair, I can kill the guys on the roof. I'm going to run out of stuff to mind control here. God damn it, we're going to have a big old mind control session for funsies. Uh... <laughs> We're too good. Our resistance is too uh, too efficient here. Uh, you're going to carry the corner. Well done, mate. You're just going to carry the corner while somebody fires in a completely different direction. Uh, they're probably not going to kill the sex pod because their weapons are nowhere near as strong as our lot. Uh, are you going to take a pot shot at it as well? Yeah, I mean, they're doing good. They're doing good work. They're actually pretty solid aims, these guys. Which is always nice. Oh, you're hiding around the corner. Nobody wants to go for the soldiers that you could have probably killed. Instead, he's just going to pour bullets into that. I guess it is the biggest threat. I guess it is the biggest threat. 
So kind of makes sense. Oh, you're going to run. It's not the greatest bit of cover there. If that tank got angry at you. Like, <laughs> if that tank got angry at those guys, you could probably wipe out three of them in one go. Thankfully, being a turn-based game, it'll be my turn and then we will get rid of it. Uh, who would like to do the honours of killing it? Uh, oh, we've got, of course, we've got the... Uh, <laughs> Ah, oh, shall we try and get the Advent guy to kill his own units? Oh, I don't know if I can. Oh, Advent are the enemy forces, the alien forces, if you like. Oh, he's not going to be within range. Damn it, I was going to... Oh, that's disappointing. Actually, we can actually mind control stuff. I didn't know that. Can we get, like, chain... I've never mind controlled a priest, I don't think, in this game. Can we get chain mind control going? <laughs> that sounds silly, but I kind of quite want to try it. Uh, okay, so you, your advent not going to be able to kill their own guys. We can murder the sector pod with a sniper. Perhaps we should focus on trying to take out these guys with our sniper, because the sector pod's on the floor and easier to kill. These guys are in That's decent right. cover. A sniper is probably the best at getting rid of those. Oh, the sniper might not have got an... Oh, the sniper's not at a higher elevation, so we don't get another shot. Bugger. Okay, that's fine. We can... Oh, you can only grapple hook over there. That's less fun. We can probably deal with the other guys. In fact, plan... Oh, not quite close enough. Okay, somebody else. Somebody else take out the big thing. What are you doing? Django's, why are you... Well, I saw that. You've now moved to get yourself back into a sensible position. Your legs were definitely not in the correct angle there. You can hide it now all you like, but I saw that. You were being sneaky. Uh... <laughs> Uh, you should probably 82% chance to kill that. Uh, I mean, we've got... Do you know what? Screw it. Let's just go mind control. We have got a bunch of other abilities. I can blow up explosives that they're carrying. I can create, like, a little explosive field around them. I can try and make them go insane. Sometimes you mind control them. Sometimes you panic them and they start shooting their own guys. Uh, again, it's another... So far, it's just another uh, kind of guaranteed psionic damage. Uh, stasis will freeze them in place uh, for a turn. They can't do anything. Um, but you can't hit them. You, like, put them in, like, a force field. Uh, kind of useful for taking somebody out of action if you've got, like, a big unit out of action if you've got to try and deal with, uh, other stuff. But we're just going to mind control the trooper. Because I can, basically. <laughs> just gives me another guy. He just gives me more cannon fodder, and I'll end up using these as scouts. I don't care if they get killed. It doesn't matter. They're, <laughs> they're the enemy troops. So... Yeah, let's go. I can't quite run you up. We'll run you up into better cover because somebody will kill that uh, sector pod. You can have a go at murdering the sector pod. I'm a bit around. Oh, it might explode and take out a resistance guy. Nope, everybody's fine. Awesome. Can we, we can't grab them across. Where are the rest of the enemies? We've kind of wiped these guys out uh, very efficiently. Let's <laughs> grappling hook our way across. Uh, now, when we get to the, the rescue, we may well get to them without too much trouble, but reinforcements can drop in. You're never quite sure what's going to turn up. Uh, the Chosen, again, these these kind of like a big uh, bosses can also interrupt missions. They kind of like a random chance of them turning up on missions. And one like this, it's quite a good chance. And they have a bunch of special abilities and so on that can can cause havoc with your best uh, best laid plans. Uh, where is the operative? Are the operatives in the... Oh, it's on the second floor, so we're going to have to run through this building. We'll uh, it's not great cover, but... I don't think... We've not got any enemies in sight, and if something does come around the this corner, they they're not the going to have time. They're not going to be have, you know, have the actions, have the amount of movements to move into, into line and shoot, hopefully, unless something is being really sneaky. Like, line of sight is very important here, both for me and for the enemies. They're going to get rid of the priests over there. <laughs> And you're going to shoot the next one. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the first silly miss of the video. Well done, yes. You can be standing right next to somebody and still miss. As you've seen, it's, you know, 80% chances and, and whatnot. But I have missed a few 99% chances. It's just the way that it goes sometimes. Can we get you? We're not going to get you into a range of... How are we going to get to them? I guess we actually have got somebody who can grab them. Uh, where have you gone? You can go in and grab them. Where is it going to want us to get to? Because there's probably going to be an evac point somewhere. Where is that evac point going to be? Ah! Speaking of reinforcements, here they come. <laughs> sure. Okay, we're they're setting up our evac position, I hope. It's an ambush. Okay, so we're right. Okay, so this is a, a, a different sort of mission. Uh, we've got three turns to try and ho hold out until extraction can get here. So, what we're going to want to be doing 
is getting everybody in as good a position as we can, and we are going to try our best to fight off these reinforcements. Now, good positions somewhere elevated is always helpful. Uh, you will do... you get better aim, essentially, if you are at an elevated position. However, I don't know if we can get anybody uh, quite where I want them to be in time. You might as well sit there on Overwatch. You've got some good cover. Uh, you... Do I put you inside a building somewhere? Hmm... I don't, again, don't want to cluster people up too much, because then a grenade or a rocket uh, can kill or injure a large number of them. Uh, you can go on the roof and hide, because you're the important person that we don't let get captured. Uh, the priest, you can go and sit in that building. Uh, the trooper, you can go sit in this corner and do some, do some overwatching. We're essentially now overwatch trapping this area. So when anything uh, comes in to... When, it, when the reinforcements land... Probably not going to keep a person there. That's a little bit risky. Uh, when the reinforcements land, they're going to try and move. And as soon as they move, everybody here is going to open fire on them. If it all goes well, if we have enough people ready, we can potentially kill every all the reinforcements before they even get a proper turn. Where we've got everyone positioned is pretty good for taking out that section. But there may well be reinforcements coming at different uh, positions. Oh, that's a pathetic reinforcement. Guys, that's terrible. You've sent two. Admittedly, the guy with the big stick. Stun lancers are very dangerous, even at this stage. Oh. Okay, you've sent more than two. Where are those coming in? Are they coming in the same point? Okay, you've used an entire other dropship for two. You could have fitted them all in one go, I think. I j <laughs> the mech's quite big, but... Uh... Okay, a little bit more substantial reinforcements. I will, I will give you that. A little bit more. Still, I probably can't murder all of them, but we can probably do some serious damage. Uh... <laughs> He's been missed. Oh, there's a lot of missing going on. Wow. That guy has dodged everything. The sniper's gonna bomb the priest. That's the priest's shot. There's a lot of camera work going on here. <laughs> that was some terrible... We killed... We kind of killed one of the big dangerous uh, people. Oh, he's been a right... Oh, you sneaky git. Uh, resistance! Go and kill him, please. Uh, they are... Oh, God damn it. They're a shield bearer. Uh, they have a special ability where they can give all of their allies a powerful shield. Uh, I think it's about five hit points, five life, essentially, uh, for for free. Oh, if you can hit that mech. Ah, you missed it. Bugger. Okay. Okay, you're going to activate the mech. The enemies can overwatch. Oh, no! Resistance fighter, you fool. You should have just stayed still and shot. There was no need for the movement. Well, I mean, at least... It's one of them, not one of my guys. <laughs> At the end of the day, a terrible thing to say. However, very true. Okay. I mean, that thing looks bad. That's just a different sort of reinforcement coming in. Uh, we're probably not going to want to be hanging around. I don't know if it does damage if you're in the little void circle. It feels like a bad idea regardless. Uh, so we're going to pull back. Uh, ooh. I've got a cunning idea. <laughs> Let's continue. Let's continue the mind control game. Full override. I want a mech. Yes, please. Can I have a mech? Uh, we're going up to three. Going up to three. Can I get the priest to mind control the... Take control of the unit for the rest of the mission. Now, if I fail, it will make the mech stronger, but an 80% chance of success sounds like a good idea to me. Thank you very much. We now have a mech as well. We're up to three enemy units. Can we go for the... I've got to try the priest. We're going to go for chain mind control here. Uh, we will take you. The priest can stay in his little bubble, but we'll just overwatch kill him uh, kind of regardless. So, mech is ours. I don't know if I get control of the mech this turn. I hope so. I might, might not. You, hide, please. Uh, you... Ah, oh, perhaps I can't mind... Can't mind control... Right, you can't chain mind control. Disappointment indeed. You can sit on Overwatch because you're not going to do anything much better for with any of it. Uh, you're going to. Ooh, can you shoot a shield bearer in the face from here? No, apparently not. But you know what? I might as well put you on Overwatch on that roof. Uh, you cannot quite reach either, which is a pain. You can't get to a point to. Uh, I guess we could probably get you in here, couldn't we? Yeah, we'll do that. You can jump through the window. We'll get you out of the way of the big void rift, because God knows what's... Hey, you know what? Screw it. 
let's not even, what are the chances of hitting? 69% chance. I mean, entertaining number. However, there's nobody around, right? We're not going to injure anybody. Doesn't matter. These are the baddies' buildings anyway, so goodbye to that building. <laughs> Buildings, walls, and so on are very destructible when you are using rockets and grenades. If you take out, you know, the walls or you take out a floor, you can get units to fall. They'll take fall damage and so on. Uh, it can be very helpful. Kills units. I've also had units severely injured when enemies have fired rockets, knocked flooring out, and so on. You can sit on Overwatch there. We're going to do the same game again of can anybody hit stuff? Because, I mean, we might as well. We might as well reload you. Uh, you've got two actions. I don't really want to move. You're kind of in good positions here. They've been very kind and had their reinforcements appear at near identical places. They don't normally do that. Uh, shall we stick... Well, I guess we'll stick you on Overwatch here. We'll cover this because they're going to be uh, spawning in front of that window. So you can go on Overwatch there. Uh, I don't know what that greyed out one is. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, because of course we can't hit the priest because the priest is a statist. That's why I'm not an idiot, honestly. Oh, okay. You've got a flying Archon. Uh, that guy, a bit of a pain to hit, but not too much of a trouble at the kind of units we've got. Oh, you are going to miss the damn priest, aren't you? Because you're going to be busy shooting at these guys. Uh, oh, well, he's gone. Better shooting from all of you. Well played. We've got another shield bearer who is maybe going to get bit. No, missed. Got bit by someone. Priest shot at him. The other, Our other mind control guy shot at him, but missed. Damn it, he's gonna run away. He's not. Oh, don't mind control our own guy. What happens if they mind control a person who's mind controlling? Do we lose the mind control of the. Don't know. Uh oh, we've been noodle brained. <laughs> Crap. Uh, okay, I think we still have control of the. Uh, of the trooper. Oh, they've got to reload. I think they're all out of ammo. That's a pain. Now, helpfully. Helpfully, if we kill the priest that's doing the mind controlling at the moment, we'll get control of our soldier back. So that is probably what we are going to do. Uh, these guys are fapping around. Uh, just going to continue to fap. Could you, if actually, if you want to shoot the priest in the back of the everywhere, go for it, please. Thank you. <laughs> they will. They will do. Uh, there we go. Now we've got full control of our faculties again. Are you going to have to reload? Oh no, you've got ammo. You can shoot the lancer in the back and maybe kill him. Ah, I missed that one. We'll sniper them. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, they're going to have a, got another turn to wait until reinforcements. We are, thankfully, doing fairly well at getting rid of... Uh getting rid of these waves of reinforcements. Like, if it starts going wrong and they start building up, you're really in trouble then. If it starts going wrong and they, they start, you know, building up wave after wave, <laughs> if you can't kill them in time, you are in a lot of bother. But we're not having not having too bad or a time oh actually you can, you can shoot uh, oh you can shoot at him so i didn't actually notice the lancer not the lancer sorry the shield bearer snuck its way into the uh building over there i remember the name of building uh <laughs> let's move the mech into here the mechs generally have some awful aim but uh 65% chance. You can get rid of that. I can save all my other good guys for... There we go. He dodged it, but it was still enough graze damage, essentially, to, to kill them. Sniper. It actually not had as much use as perhaps sometimes, because <laughs> just sort of parked them up on top of a building, and they've done what we've needed them to do. You can go and run in here and shoot a shield bearer everywhere you can, and bop! 100% charge. Good work. But <laughs> they are no more. Right, and then we're back to the same little trap because we've cleared everybody else out. Perfect! I would say this little car. I mean, you would have thought by now the enemies would have tried somewhere different dropping in their troops. Like, they might. You might have thought they'd have realised this is probably not a particularly good place to uh, drop the troops into. You know, this little kill box we have going on is pretty damn. pretty damn powerful. And what have we got? Who have you sent in to their death this time? It looks like you've got another Lancer and another Priest. Oh, and you've got a mech as well for us. Oh no, you've got a Commander. One of their best normal ground units. There's a lot of different sort of enemy types. This one has actually not had the, ma the biggest variety of them. You're all going to run. Are you going to be able to bop and one-shot the guy? Ah, uh, he did some damage. He's dead. He's dead. 
Oh, this is a good Overwatch trap. I suspect the mech won't trigger it because the mechs tend to just sit on Overwatch immediately. Which is then going to get annihilated by the resistance fighters. And you're going to have to reload. Probably not going to be close enough. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this has been a... Uh, this has been a pretty disastrous... This could have got a lot, a lot, lot worse for us if they'd spread out where their reinforcements were and we couldn't get them all in the turns required. It's just been utter, utter carnage for the... Uh, for the advent, guys. Ooh, okay, so we've got a little problem on this one. Small problem. I was hoping to try and sort of... Get, well, I, say, I was trying to get, hoping to get out this turn. We've got to try and get our... VIP here to the evac zone. Now, I was kind of hoping the evac zone was going to be over here. I don't have any control over it on some of these missions, so carrying our VIP in the corner is good for not getting him killed. However, however, not so good for, well, getting out of trouble. Um, Priest, you're on mech bopping duty. Done pretty well with that. Trooper, you are also on mech bopping duty. Still not... <laughs> okay, you can finally get rid of that damn thing. Thank you. Right, <laughs> got rid of that wave of reinforcements. Now, I have got to start moving my... I mean, the mechs, the, the mind control units don't matter. Uh, they'll just be kind of left behind as we evacuate, and they will still complete the mission. Uh, you can sit on Overwatch. You will be able to get out when we've got the VIP to safety, so you can overwatch. Uh, let's go come. stick you in around this corner. It's not the it's not quite the best line of sight on that drop zone, but it will work. Are you within so you're within running distance? You can sit on overwatch, you'll definitely be in running distance. Uh, this is the least I have ever moved my soldiers. It's 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 definitely a record. However the aliens have not been particularly creative. Oh they've got two drop zones. Uh, we are going to run because our skirmisher is not within a safe. Oh, we can actually grapple you across there. And then we'll you'll probably be within range of getting out, come to think of it. Oh, that was a terrible grapple because you've got no cover. Let's go put you in some cover. We'll we'll miss out on one guy being on Overwatch. What a <laughs> what a what a shame. Have you got three more to send to their doom? Yep. Commander, stabby guy, just normal normal guy. Any more? Is that other flare just an old existing one? Or is that other flare going to be some actual troops? I think that's just an old existing one. Possibly. And everybody die again. Hopefully. Fingers crossed and everything. Come on, sniper. We've done fine work. Seven. Dead. Some more death. Lots of death. Oh, everything's gone. <laughs> <Time eliminated. laughs> that is one of the most effective kill boxes I think I've ever made. Oh, you're going to bring in some more guys next time around. Ooh, you're going to bring in two lots of more guys. Can I get the VIP out this turn? Otherwise... Oh, for God's sake, I can't get the VIP. We're going to have to survive enough. Like, normally I would be out of here by now. But where I've hidden the VIP has meant he's really badly exposed. Well, he, he, he was very well hidden, but he was very exposed on this run across. So... This is... Yeah, like I'm glad we've got this very efficient kill box. Otherwise, we'd be in so much trouble with the uh, well, with the area that we're in. I'm gonna reload everybody just in case we need to kill some stuff um, during next turn. Yeah, you're gonna reload, and then we'll stick everybody still on Overwatch. What are they gonna bring in next? Are you going to bring in more stabby guys? Are you going to bring in anything creative? You know, anything at all creative? I guess we'll find out. Uh, we are going to have to... Are you actually going to have to reload? You are definitely within... Yeah, you're in sprinting range. If and when needed. I think you're outside of any weird vortex stuff. I don't think it actually affects our guys. You've <laughs> used so much ammo as well. Actual, like, ammo ammo doesn't matter. But you do have to reload the weapons if you've you know, fired so many shots. You can't physically, like, completely run out of ammo. Uh, there are various upgrades. You can get free reloads, so it doesn't cost you an action, and, and so on and so forth as you go through. Alright, kill box time again. <laughs> oh, the, the, everything's gone so quickly, I don't even know what we're going to be killing this time. Let me guess. You've got another guy with a stabby stick. Uh, oh, you've got a flamethrower. Oh, he might cause issues. Oh, they've got a muton as well, sort of big, uh, big brute of a 
soldier. The, the flamethrower is a bit dangerous because he might explode and might take other guys with him. Now, if he runs towards us and we like overwatch trap and explode him on our own guys, that is entirely possible. Um, let's hope he doesn't do that. Sniper, you shot the Archon in the back. Archon's dead. That's quite good. Uh, are you going to be able to kill the other Mutant? Yep. <laughs> This is some ruthless efficiency we have got going on right here. It's impressively ruthless efficiency we've got here. Is there anybody left to Overwatch? Yep, you've got that guy. Oh! <laughs> God damn, that is the most... That is the greatest... Greatest killbox I've ever done on this game. Like, I'm kind of both glad that I'm filming this one, of all the things I've done, I'm kind of glad I'm filming this one for the sheer ruthless efficiency of it. However, it hasn't made for the most outstanding mission in the... We've just not really needed to move. Everybody has done incredibly accurate shots. Everybody has... I mean, they're going to have more reinforcements coming in, but it's irrelevant because we're out of here this time around. So... Everybody is going home, pretty much. Uh, that mech doesn't have Overwatch, so you are going to get out. Uh, of course, the priests and the troopers, you're staying. Uh, you are going to hopefully get out. I think we can get everybody into... Um, say, I, if we can't get everybody into the evac zone, I'm kind of stuffed this. because Oh, you're the mech. I didn't mean to send the mech into there. Whoops, we're getting the mech. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can take them home with you. I don't, I don't know. We'll have a pet mech for the entire time. Just keep the hack going on and then we're fine. Uh, I've, got, I've got so many units under my control. I've actually got to be careful I don't stuff this up. Uh, once you've got... If you use both of your turns getting into the evac zone, that's fine because uh, evacing out doesn't require an actual action. Just got to be careful that we do get everybody into here that we need into here. Uh, you need to come into here. And... I guess we can then evac everybody that's here at all. Yes, we should be able to. If we evac out the guys that are mind controlling, uh, let's just use you to take out the mech, just in case something weird happens. Uh, <laughs> cool, that mech's done. You're mind controlled. I think everybody's in. The only people left, to, uh, the only things I have to do is evac everybody. This is a mod as well. Normally you have to click through individually to evac them, but there's a mod, evac all mod, that lets you get everybody out in one go. Very helpful. Highly recommend that one. Evac, everybody, apart from the mech. The mech will sadly be lost, I believe. <laughs> there we go. Mind control is lost. They're wondering what the bloody hell has gone on just looking at that pile of corpses in the middle. <laughs> that was... There we go. Raging flawless. Nobody got injured. I don't think anybody even got shot at in that one. As Sniper was brutally efficient on the initial pack. Mind control is incredibly strong when used in that manner, and the kill box was one of the most efficient sort of little things that I've done on this game. The resistance fighters helped, certainly. They did some damage, took out a couple of guys that were hanging around the back. Uh, that was a, a, quite a lot of enemies as well in that with those. The amount of time it took me to get out, yeah, nobody took any, any damage. 100% successful shots from our soldiers. I think some of the mind control guys missed, but from our guys, 100% hit rate. Don't think that counted all the Overwatch shots, because they did miss a couple of those, I think. But yeah, the actual shots they were uh, ordered to take, that's some impressive stuff. That was basically the A-team of uh, of my, my non-stream game. Uh, we've got a couple of promotions. War Kitty and uh, McToasty are now up to the Brigadier rank, uh, which is... Uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty damn high. Ooh, four additional points of damage to your main weapon. Yes. Yes, please. When that is a stupidly strong rifle to begin with, I want to do that. And you, Gremlin flies to each squad member, healing them. Considering I do that a lot, um, that can stun robot units, but I do that quite a lot, so... Well, I say I do. You might need to do that if things are going really badly wrong in a mission, so I tend to take healing stuff. There we go. Uh... <laughs> That was a Excellent work, scary efficient Whatever mission on, on XCOM 2. Surprisingly relatively tame. Everything went relatively well to plan. I do really, 
really very much love this game. I highly recommend it if you are into your into your strategy games. If you are into strategy games, chances are you have played it already. But uh, yeah, it is a lot of fun. That mission, everything went relatively smoothly. Didn't have any panic and try and come up with clever tactics to keep everyone alive and so on. But yeah, you kind of get attached to your good soldiers and they can. I don't know if I haven't lost anybody on this playthrough, come to think of it. Uh, they, they can and will die. And once they're dead, that's it. They are gone for good. Uh, for, oh, we have we have lost we have lost various soldiers on this uh, on this playthrough. Um, yeah, they will they'll go on to this uh, memorial wall and so on. Uh, that one died to an elite shield bearer. Uh, what did you end up dying to on this one? Stun lancer. Stun lancer tends to be the cause of death for most of my soldiers. I'm going to be honest. Uh, <laughs> The, the stun lancers are a pain in the ass because they move so far. Or the Archon can run up and hit you as well. That, they do that. But, um, wow, they went on one mission. They died on their first mission. That's not a good... Uh, <laughs> not, not a good one. But, uh, yeah. I... I really recommend XCOM 2. If you want to see some more of this game at a less advanced state, I'm streaming this one tonight. There'll be a link to my, my Twitch channel in the description of this, of this video. We'll be playing through a lot more uh, with slightly less specked up troops if you like uh, the the enemies there are some real tough enemies that we didn't come across and i'm kind of surprised uh, in that particular mission but uh yeah thank you very much for watching and until next time uh goodbye